Thank you, Stephen, for um, having these questions. So for the first one, HIP30, right, brings significant optimization to the chain. And I'm wondering, where did that idea come about? We really think this is the year of efficiency. When we think about what is the blockchain use cases and how Harmony has achieved so many users, transactions throughout the years, this year is very different. When we ask about where are the resources going to, to sustain the economy and the development of the entire chain and ecosystem, we ask how is our allocation now. We do know when we set out in the white paper and bring in many validators and bring in many of the partners that validator has always been critical. The economy security of the network has been the design from the very beginning to think about how we are one of the first proof of stake to bring the long-term sustainability. Looking this year, we know that uh, there are lots more use cases to come, but the efficiency of the network and the usage has not been at the peak level. So to ask us what will be the block reward compared to how we go in that to accelerate our recovery and accelerate our ecosystem growth is the motivation of the entire proposal. And speaking on recovery, as you mentioned, with current uh, mindset around recovery is that it's a harmony specific issue. But then now with HIV 30 and the emission change, the burden seems to be placed on the validators. Is there something you would like to share? For Absolutely. Them? How we think about we dealing with both the bridge security problems and the recovery for many of the big assets and how to juggle that we still have a core team committed to be building and many partners interest to build on the new things. And what will be the next DeFi AI use cases will be the overall picture. There's no doubt that this proposal directly impact the validators and by extension, the delegators. But the burden is not on them. We have been very grateful and very lucky with the years of validators that stick with us and build the entire ecosystem with us. So the impact on and the, and the, and the really traction that they bring over the years has been tremendous. But moving forward, we have to really find way with our entire ecosystem. How we think about the uh, users that impact with the bridge uh, incidents, how we think about how the validators now with the delegator, what will be the engagement who are still active in the community. First is about the core team, what are the new initiatives and innovations that we can still drive um, from here and today will be an overall uh, picture. Uh, we do know that uh, there will be immediately validators getting impact, but would they want to stay and build the future? Would they be able to still attract new delegators so that both the, um, the token economy as well as their validator sustainability is something that we would like to take their feedback um, the numbers would be impacting them directly, but will be actually giving us much more way to grow. And speaking of growth, another mm -hmm. aspect of HIP30 mm -hmm. is the emission DAO. Could you give more clarity on, on what that is or, or what you have a vision for, for yeah. that? The vision is really what was not possible from the last few years, that the blog we work has to be fixed very early on. So we talk about what was the initial supply of all the tokens and the long-term emission from the blocks. Um, we were uh, when the blockchain keep producing blocks and having the security to secure uh, all the transactions. It turned out that uh, when there are big changes to our um, block uh, token economy, it is very, very challenging to get it right from the beginning and to change it. What we have done is we are very thoughtful what would be the allocation to the ecosystem for the protocol and the research and for the initial both team and investors to come in. But it has been four and a half years already when we start. And now to think about the long term, it wouldn't be controlled by a small group or initial idea already, but a long term governance. And how would that be possible? We didn't change the total supply, but what we change is, can we have different allocation? We didn't say it will be a new specific group of people, but can it be more seasonal engagement and election so that we set out the right mandate for long term, we have the right understanding that should be recovery first. It should be possible 
to accelerate some of the growth first. So that, uh, but we don't define that it will be always going to just validator when the transaction volume is insane. It's impossible to predict when there are 100x at one point of much higher, higher transaction load. And compared to now very few, now we need to really accelerate the recovery and plan for more sustainable way of not just through grant or investment or just counting on a small group of core team or partners to grow, but long term having a DAO to governance over long term. Thank you. Thank you.